How did Ryan Trahan make this thumbnail? This video was one of his worst performers on launch, and if you were one of the first few hundred thousand viewers, you would already know why. But he knew this video would be huge, and the views came in quick at first, but suddenly, it was dead. He and his team were scrambling. The editing and pacing are good, the retention is high, everyone loves it, it should be one of the best videos we've ever made, but nobody is clicking it. Well, the click-through rate was one of his lowest ever, and what they didn't understand right away is that the thumbnail they had at the time was good theoretically. But what was the problem? And that's when Ryan realized. Seeing it for the first time on his phone in dark mode, it didn't stand out at all. To make things worse, it didn't match the vibe of the video either. The series was quirky and cheerful, but the thumbnail looked just plain sad. So he switched the background to green grass and tweaked the shirt accordingly, and the view graph broke immediately. It didn't take long to become the second highest viewed video on his channel. Well, that was an easy fix. All he had to do was switch two colors. But what about this thumbnail? It's blurry, dark, and out of focus. How on earth was he going to turn this one around? Let me explain. Sometime in 2020, he stumbles across this photo. Now, if you're like Ryan and have a good understanding of packaging YouTube videos, you may have already realized the person who took it accidentally made what could be a perfect thumbnail, and they didn't even know it. After some sleuthing, he finds out it was taken at Jules Undersea Lodge in Florida, and for only $900, he could spend the night. Following a quick flight from Texas, he arrives and takes the plunge down into the hotel. How's the water, Daniel? Fantastic. A diver named Daniel helped him with the descent, but Ryan asks if he can do him another favor. All he needed were some shots from outside the hotel window for the thumbnail, and Daniel agreed. But here's where Ryan made his first mistake. Unfortunately, he didn't check the footage right away, and that ended up causing some pretty major problems. Instead, he moved on to do some filming, where he enjoyed the ocean views and ate some pizza. But then he got stuck, so they had to send someone to help. That wasted some time, but then he spent even more time filming a sponsor segment for the video. Finally, it's 1am, and with the footage already, Ryan plugs in the GoPro to find the thumbnail I showed you earlier, which was basically unusable. Where's the rusted metal? Or the bolts around the window seen in the reference photo? He'd already spent a lot of time and thousands of dollars on this video, so he hatched a plan. Using Photoshop magic, he'll make it look like the reference photo. Only problem is, it's a lot harder than he thought. He spends just over an hour on this, and at one point even gave up and tried to put his head on this guy's body, but it just won't work. And that's when I realized, oh my gosh, is Daniel still awake? He texted the stranger at two in the morning, offering to pay him for his help, but the chances he'll even be awake to read it are so low. Ryan had a perfectly good video idea, yet a thumbnail nobody would click on. Defeated, he prepared to call it a day, but then Daniel actually responded. It was time for round two. Daniel comes back, gears up, and heads down into the water. Ryan gets into position so they can film him with the GoPro again, but it wasn't over in one shot. They went back and forth for two hours, fixing lighting issues, off-center shots, and plugging in the camera to his laptop over and over again to check the footage. Right when they began to run low on battery, they'd finally gotten something good, but it still wasn't quite right. The next challenge was to bring it back into Photoshop. He made multiple versions, experimenting with composition, color filters, and different text options, until finally it was ready. He'd spent eight hours on the thumbnail alone, but was it worth it? Once his editor sent the final version of the video, he'd had all he needed. It was time to upload. Skip to the present, and it's one of the best performers on his channel. And part of that success comes from his dedication to capturing the right photo for the thumbnail. And it wasn't the only time he went the extra mile to get the perfect photo. He even once cut down a dying tree on his property to make a reference to Minecraft for a thumbnail. Instead of taking the easy way out and photoshopping a fake image, he cut the tree into three logs and took this picture. Another important thing to notice about Ryan's thumbnails are the buckets, or series of videos that fit in the same group. Maybe you didn't notice them all right away, so I'll point them out to you. First up, you have the Surviving On videos. He has multiple series about surviving on a penny, and several about cryptocurrency. It's funny how many YouTubers copied his format for these videos. Then there's the videos where he photoshops celebrities into the background of his Instagram photos, which many people copied as well. Like, at least introduce a twist. Don't copy the title exactly. Ryan also made several videos spending the night in crazy places. The $1 Hotel, The World's Loneliest House, An Abandoned Ghost Town, and others. They're some of his most popular videos too. The Underwater Hotel video we spoke about earlier has 13 million views. 
He has a lot of videos related to Minecraft, several about Tesla Autopilot, and a few about Facebook Marketplace. When videos are directly related and viewers are left wanting more, they'll watch multiple in a row. Now this is obviously to increase session time so that YouTube gives him more impressions, but I think it's valuable to look at exactly how he expands on a single idea. Check this out. The recent series where he trades a penny into a house, he doesn't even change the title. He knows it's good already, and when he first did the same concept four years ago at a smaller scale, he included episode 1, 2, etc, but that just isn't needed when the thumbnails can differentiate them. Also, if he were to title this one trading a penny into a truck, it wouldn't be as clickable. Even worse with this one, trading up from a truck to a tiny house isn't that crazy. But each step along the way, when you see the thumbnail and read turning a penny into a house in one week, you're intrigued, especially as a new viewer. Next is by far his most influential series. I survived the world's loudest room, the world's quietest room, using only realistic Minecraft tools, and 50 hours in third person. Right now we'll focus on these two. Here's one of the initial drafts for the third person video. What surprised me a lot is that he didn't end up using it. Looking at the two thumbnails side by side, the standing on the cliff edge seems more clickable to me. I stared at them for a while to try and figure out why. Maybe the text was too big, but there would be too much empty space if he scaled it down. Maybe he didn't like the blue color. Was it because he photoshopped the camera rig but he wanted to use the real thing? Or did he want people in the frame to react to how strange he looked? The best reason I came up with is that maybe it was too dangerous and he wanted to protect his brand or avoid demonetization because YouTube can be touchy these days but really, I'm not sure why. Okay, this next one is insane. You must have seen this thumbnail by now, and if not, you're just not paying attention to YouTube. It's his third most viewed at 15 million views, and here's why it works so well. The idea is solid and based on previous viral successes, but he didn't just copy exactly what they did and hoped it would work. He came up with a new thumbnail that blew the others out of the water. There are only two main elements, three if you count the room itself, that fit perfectly in the boundaries of the rule of thirds. Ryan himself is placed comfortably in the center, with his eyes resting on the grid line. Even better, he stands out aggressively, the high contrast and balanced composition working together to make Ryan a magnet for your eyes on screen. His emotion seems authentic, and it isn't so absurd it feels childish. The image itself is strange too. The foam walls look so weird, and Ryan sits in an uncomfortable posture. One intense light source from the side makes everything feel even more unnerving. The text helps a lot here as well. Notice how there's no repeated text between the thumbnail and the title. When you put them together, it's delivered as a challenge video. And there's something interesting about that. If he's just in a really quiet room, how could it look so uncomfortable after 41 minutes? Thumbnail and title isn't all that packaging is though. If this caught your attention and you clicked on the video, he's only won half the battle. How does he close the curiosity loop? I don't think you realize how crazy the world's quietest room really is. Instantly, the first frames of the video show you what you came to see while well, he says something that will hold your curiosity to see more. Apparently 30 minutes inside will drive you completely insane. Now the stakes have been raised, and you're even more intrigued than before. Could it be true that only 30 minutes will drive you insane? The thumbnail said 41 minutes. That's what they're saying anyway. I don't believe that. I think that's baloney. I think that is a, a large pile of a meat-like substance. Ryan subverts expectations and asserts his objection in, crucially, a funny way. Right off the bat, there's a strong emotional reaction and he gives you an idea of what humor the rest of the video has. This is one of the best hooks I've ever seen on YouTube. It has everything to justify watching more and further capturing your attention, but it only took him 11 seconds. Though it doesn't matter how effective the intro hook is if viewers don't click on the thumbnail, because if they don't click, they're not gonna watch. Any effort crafting the perfect hook is wasted unless the thumbnail gets their attention to begin with, which is why you need to watch this video to see all 21 of the most clickable thumbnail formats on YouTube. Subscribe.